this is the base. The threads you see here, this is the base of the carpet. In other words, this is the wall. So whatever we weave into it, those will be the that will be the uh, knots and that will give us the fabric. The weft is done. I will explain you that later. So when we talk of carpets, like this is at the moment we are making silk on cotton. In other words, it has a cotton base. When we talk of higher quality, then we change this. Use this also as a silk, and that is called silk on silk. When you see the tussles in the finished carpet, cotton silk on cotton will have cotton tussles, and silk on silk will have silk tussles. This is how you differentiate between silk on cotton and silk on silk. Now, after that, these are the three tools which we use for carpet making. You see, very simple, nothing else. This is a sharp blade to cut the thread. It is not sharp here so that we don't cut the, these uh, warp threads. Then this is to lock the threads. So whenever we make a row of knots, I will show you how we lock it. And then this is to clip the pile. Finally, you will see the clipping of that. That's all. So now to get the, get the, you know, the fabric, you know, about the knots, there are about, there are so many knots in, in the world for handmade carpets, but the three knots are famous in the world. One is Turkish knot, Sana knot and Persian knot. I told you this is a Persian introduction, so our knot is Persian knot. It's not a Kashmiri knot. And it is a figure eight shaped knot. We take the threads from back, threads from front on the loom, twist it twice, make a figure eight like this. And once the figure eight is made, then we pull it down and cut it. While we cut it, that makes bit of the pile. So every time we do it, we are doing a knot. I'll just show you. You can come closer and you can see how I will make a knot. See over here, there is no blue knot. So we take threads from the back, threads from the front. We twist it twice. We loop it. We made a figure eight. Then we pull it down and then we cut it. So that's one knot. I'll do it with a different color. We take threads, two, two from back, two from front, twist it twice make a figure eight, pull it down, and then we cut it. So that's a knot. So we have to go exactly as per the instructions here, and the colors are hanging here. So we say one of green, two are blues, three are pinks, and so on, like six are beiges. We put those threads across and complete one row of knots all the way across. Now once we make a uh, row of knots, then you know these knots can come out easily. Like they can come out. So we have to lock them. You can presume we have made a row of knots. Then we put another thread which comes all the way across from one end to another. And this is how it comes on top of it in the middle, like this. So we put it on top of all the knots which we have made and then we lock it with this, like this. Very strong. So it tightens it, straightens it and locks it. So in other words, if we make like 50,000 rows, 50,000 times we have to lock it. That's why this is time consuming. But the best part of it is, after that, you know, even if we cut this into pieces, nothing is going to come out. While as if a carpet like this is made in Jaipur or Agra, they don't use this thread, it can come out like a towel. It has no life. You can never uh, say this is an old, uh, you know, uh, Jaipuri carpet or old carpet from, uh, they don't have that sort of life. But Persian carpets are old. Uh, you know, Turkish carpets are, I mean, as antiques or Kashmiri carpets are, could be as antiques because they have a long life. Life, uh, I'm talking about at least four or five generations can enjoy a carpet. Mm. The uh, carpet will never fall apart. The pile will be worn out. The carpet will be stay there. Mm. So once we make two or three inches like this, then we clip the pile and see how we clip it. Thousand. Thousand. Now see how smooth this is. Yes. Mm -hmm. So everything is done by hand. 